Back now with rising concerns about COVID as we move into the fall. Hospitalizations are up nearly 8 percent. And beginning today, free tests are once again available at covidtests.gov. And for those suffering from long COVID, a study just out is giving new clues to identifying and possibly treating the mystery condition. Here's Ann Thompson. The cello is Joshua Roman's pleasure and profession. But long COVID's made it tough for the virtuoso soloist to play lengthy pieces. What kind of difference has long COVID made in your career? Long COVID has forced me to only do the most important things. Long COVID impacts 6% of adults, according to the CDC. Symptoms include fatigue, brain fog, and memory difficulties. Now a new study offers clues about potential blood biomarkers. We're seeing patterns. David Petrino is the lead seeing, researcher. Our study showed that individuals with long COVID had significant and measurable differences in their blood. And what were those differences? These differences were a mixture of hormone dysfunction, uh, immune dysfunction and reactivation of past viruses. Specifically, 50% lower levels of cortisol, the hormone that makes you feel alert and awake, T-cell exhaustion in immune systems, and dormant viruses like Epstein-Barr and herpes re-emerging. This isn't a simple illness, this is a complex illness. The study examined the blood of 268 people, some who recovered from COVID, some never infected, some with long COVID like Roman, who wants to not need reminders like this and have total recall of the music he loves. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.